Well, first you gotta make it to top 32, and to yes. do that, you gotta go through Kerchak. DK versus Krom is the matchup. And you know what? Same venue, you know the deal. Let's get rocking. You can see the initial nair into the up tilt. Really gonna see a lot of big strings here. This is where things get rough, especially with DK's changed up B and taking away some of the invincibility off the head of it. Uh, he's gonna be able to hold that big hitbox right on the edge there. And as we see, just this suffocating gameplay right now from Shoyo. I mean, he has no reason to be shy. I mean, don't get me wrong, DK is a character with a lot of disjoints and whose ever bright idea was to give uh, Cloud's up air to, uh, to DK. I hope they got fired, but yeah. that tilt, oh my gosh, Shoyo James showing no remorse. The order is in. From yep. the captain, no quarter, says Shoyo James. Just like the, just like Roy, of course, the F-Tilt into a lot of canceled moves is going to be really good. I believe that point was the F-Tilt bear, which is just an easy setup uh, every time for both Krom and Roy. A little bit of showing of life here uh, from Kerchak, not really going to go out without a fight. Oh, my. And indeed, you're right. Boom and clap goes Shoyo James's first stock. Kerchak. Uh, you know what? He's not going to go down easily. Never uh, never seemed to in the past anyway. However, this is the number two in New Jersey, and he's that for a reason, looking for the explosive Damn. finish to the second stock. The, but Damn. the back air will do. I'm Krom, sure he'll take that. Kramon, Kramon Ledge is so difficult to deal with. It's really hard to get past his character because, if you, you know, you can react to the roll. It really can easily catch a jump with F-Tilt as well. So many good moves. Oh my, I mean, how does DK get back on stage here? <laughs> it's not like that. No, I mean, clearly, yeah, the grab. Y you gotta think, oh. oh my, and indeed, Krom's sword, it comes down fast, and it comes down hard upon the last stock of Kerchak. So Shoyo James up 1-0. I'm gonna ask you, Stu, because I realized it about, about halfway through game one. Do you know what his tag is a reference to? Shoyo James? No, no, Kerchak. Kerchak. I've heard it somewhere. Kerchak's the villain from Tarzan. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, I believe, I, I'm like 99% sure on that. It's controlling which a is, monkey. Which is great, yeah, for, if, you know, for someone who was out hunting gorillas and now playing a gorilla himself. Uh, I, I would have gone with, uh, I would have gone with, what is it, the, the Hexus from Fern yeah, Gully? Yeah, that's, yeah. that's another good one, too. Yeah, the, the deep cut, shout out to Fern Gully. Tim Curry. Yeah, Tim Curry, Robin Williams. All right, oh, okay, because so we do see finally a counter hit there, but not enough to get a combo started. And we see Shoyo just come back across, knocking DK from side to side, giving everybody in the cheap seats a good view of this Donkey Kong getting comboed. Thanks to you, I have Toxic Love stuck in my head now. And yeah, Shoyo James absolutely suppressing Kerchak at every turn. And... Oh, finally though. And then, now this is something he was needing in game one that he really wasn't able to do in the first duck, is just take advantage of this getting, uh, getting Krom's landing. You know, you're able to really just keep him moving. Oh, he goes with a forward throw. Of course, with the oh. air mobility of Krom, not enough to really cause him problems. But the clap into the up air this time instead of the up smash. And we do see a lead now for Kerchak for the yeah. first time, and that is gone. Kerchak using his head in more ways than one, and that will take the first lock off to show you James. However, James butting right back and taking full advantage in uh -oh. the second stock. Oh, that was a little bit of a misstep, but nothing that uh, Shoyo James can't handle. Remember, top two in uh, in Jersey for a reason. Yeah, I like the option to get down there for him, a Kerchak, using the, using the hands again, spiking him away, but now he's back on ledge for what feels like the millionth time in this set, and it's just been so difficult for him to get past the pressure. So now, looking for the dash attack, and uh, eventually, I mean, Kerchak not winning a whole lot in neutral, but I mean, how can you be expected to? You're bringing your fist to a sword fight. Ooh, uh-oh. See where he goes here, yep. And the back air again. There and you go. Like clockwork, up tilt back air, over and over and over. You can set your watch to it, folks. Uh, I mean, whether or not you want to do so, that's your prerogative. Does anyone wear a watch anymore? Uh, I will, Apple Watch. Uh, Apple Watch, okay, you know what, we'll count that. Either way, Shoyo James, again with the edge guarding game, Kerchak having to roll back on stage, really having no other option at this point. Shoyo James has beaten every other option out of him. And now, back air is going to miss. Shoyo James, I mean, Kerchak has got to get anything he possibly can. He starts with that up tilt. Yeah, we finally seem to get back to, oh, and oh. the F smash again. Second verse, just like the first. 
Uh, but I was, you know, it's tough because a lot of match, a lot of times you like sometimes forget about jump from ledge, and we didn't see Kerchak go for too many of those either. But with just the hitboxes of Krom, really able to catch it a lot, and you're gonna see the ending here once again. Just the F smash, you know, reading, you know, is coming down. Uh, as someone that plays a big body character in Incineroar, I know how difficult it is once you've jumped and once you've air dodge. You're, you don't really have a lot left. It's just like, all right, well, this is where I'm going to be. And Shario James is like, all right, well, okay, later.